Yo, B Dub is back. Another Toonami English dub reviews for Dragon Ball Super, Hunter x Hunter, and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders. Episode 6 for JoJo's Hunter x Hunter 64 or 65, and Dragon Ball Super Episode 32. B Dub, the anime master. 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 Z, the anime One master. Here we go, the anime master. Dragon Ball Z, the anime master. Here we go, the anime master. So, Dragon Ball Super's English dub cast. Before I get to it, I have the cast list on my cell phone here. But um, the episode was pretty much the start of the Universe 6 tournament. Finally, brand new Dragon Ball Super material, and it is going to be beast mode i mean i can't wait because funimation announced the cast announcements for uh some of the upcoming new characters such as hit kava and you know um what's his name botamo and etc and this is going to be in beast mode man i mean all you uh non-sub watchers out there get ready for some great fun and you sub watchers out there look forward to the dub because the dragon ball super dub is great so anyway, looking at the English dub cast list, we have Goku played by Sean Shemu, who did an amazing, excellent, and hilarious job, especially with the scenes between him and Monaka. Pure comedy, fantastic performance by Sean Shemu. Beerus played by Jason Douglas, he was great. Christopher R. Savage as Vegeta and Piccolo, which was awesome. Whis played by Ian Sinclair, he was great as well. And let's move on to the new characters before I start about the, you know, the, uh, you know, standard characters. New characters though, Kaba played by Clifford Chopin. Excellent, perfect voice for that character. It, like my choices for Kaba was pretty much uh, Clifford Chopin or Joe McDonald and it used Clifford. Excellent casting choice, perfect voice for the character. Uh, we have Monaka played by Damon Mills doing an excellent and hilarious job playing that character. Like I said earlier, the dialogue between him and Goku was pure comic gold. And then we move on to you know, the standard characters. Uh, we have Shampa played by Jason Liebrick who's doing a great job. Vados played by Caitlin Glass who sounds excellent as well. Perfect voice for that character. And we hear the return of Kent Williams as the Supreme Kai and Chuck Huber as Kabito because they had defuse pretty epic and then we got like this episode has some really funny uh, comedy moments like Krillin he was using the bathroom and he was holding everybody else up and, and uh, Goku was like you know did you uh, summon the dragon something along those lines pretty much like a joke for him saying that you had to take a piss straight hilarious or either take a it, 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 you know what it, it was either a piss joke or a sh or a number two joke I don't know but it's pretty much a potty joke anyway we have Zuno played by Daniel Penns. We heard him in the flashback uh, last time on Dragon Ball Super. Uh, like I said, he did a great job. More new characters. The Six Supreme Kai. The Universe Six Supreme Kai played by Gregory Lush. A new actor I never heard before, but the voice sounds perfect for the character. And the Six Universe of Supreme Kai's attendant, Kana Simba Tukibito. He's played by Raleigh Pickens, who is the uh, assistant ADR director for the Dragon Ball Super dub. And the voice sounds pretty good so far. The Galactic King is played by Bob Reed, another new actor I never heard before. Pretty good performance so far. And we have the tournament singer who was played by Lee Murphy. That was a very funny scene of uh, the whole, you know, tournament announcement, national anthem, singing part, straight comedy. This episode was pretty damn funny. Uh, we have Chris George who's playing uh, Botamo. We only heard like a little snippet of him, like some grunts and stuff. We hear more dialogue. In the next episode but i can't wait to hear that performance and that's pretty much it oh we also have um the tournament ref is played by christopher burnett or chris burnett pretty good like i said great comedy episode the universe six versus universe seven arc tournament is about to start it's going to be entertaining and i can't wait to see these episodes again in dub form english adaptation script was fantastic great line delivery great jokes great comedy it was it was epic it was amazing i mean what more can i say i mean it was great dragon ball super dub is good anyway moving on to the next anime the next tsunami english dub anime hunter hunter so and hunter hunter this episode was pretty brutal i mean unbelievably unbelievably just straight brutal man the bomber is just a beast you know 
And let me get to the English dub cast. Gone, played by Erica Mendez, excellent. Killer World, played by Christina V, excellent. Biscuit, played by Tara Sands, fantastic voice. Her voice is just a perfect casting choice for the character. I can't wait to see her beast mode type of voice uh, for you dub only watchers out there. You know what I'm talking about later on. Uh, it's kind of like a transformation, kind of. Anyway. We hear more of the uh, Phantom Troop members. We're really just one. Uh, Fink's played by David Vincent, who's always going to be awesome. Uh, Genthru, who is the bomber, played by Todd Habakorn. Like, Todd Habakorn is beyond insane, creepy. He's doing a great job. It, 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 it's like the creepiness level and the super villain mode level, as far as him playing this character, is very similar to uh, Keith Silverstein's uh, Hisoka. It's just a great performance, a great casting choice overall. Todd Habercorn doing a great job playing Gen through. We hear a new character called Razor, played by George C. Cole. An old school anime dub voice I haven't heard in a, quite a long time. It's nice to hear some uh, veteran voice actors come in and be in the Hunter Hunter dub, but the voice for the character Razor was pretty good. Once again, played by George C. Cole. Uh, we hear the last performances for the character Nyx, uh, played by Chris Jai Alex. Hopefully he'll be back to play another bigger character later on. We have Bada, played by J.D. Zellman. New actor, never heard of him. I'll do some research on him later. And we hear the other uh, Bomber Minion sub, played by Cal Aber, doing a good job. And we hear a lot of new dialogue from Abengane, played by Jalen K. Cassell, who's doing an excellent job playing that character. Perfect voice, perfect casting. What more can I say? And that's pretty much it as far as super duper main characters that really spoke. And um, like I said, the bomber was straight brutal, man. He didn't follow up with his promise and just killed everybody, took their cards. It's just straight beast mode. Abengane had warned Gon and Biscuit about the situation, about the bomber and etc. But Abengane, he was able to, you know, get rid of the uh, the bombers, you know, uh, men, you know, with his own men ability and etc. It's going to be pretty interesting seeing the new dub episodes moving forward because things are going to get pretty hilarious like killer going to the hunter exam and etc and then you know more bomber craziness and gone learning his you know rock paper scissors john ken technique it's going to be it's going to get even crazy from here folks if you're a dub only watcher stay tuned for more massive entertainment for the hunter hunter dub english adaptation script was great i didn't see no problems with it and it was fun i mean it's a great dub and a great dub episode anyway Let's move on to the final dub review for this week. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders Episode 6. So JoJo's Bizarre Adventure uh, Stardust Crusaders Episode 6. Uh, the dub version was pretty entertaining. It had a lot of uh, cursing and foul language which I felt like it really did fit the characters. It even had a TVMA rating because I think it usually has a TV14. Or, if I'm mistaken by that, my bad. But you know, a lot of you know S words and you know stuff like that. It was great. Like the dialogue to me really flowed great, and uh, it was the first time I believe that Joe Tyro said his semi catchphrase, "The good grief." He says that a lot throughout the series, so I was wondering whether they're gonna keep that or, or, or was it gonna change it because of the whole Charlie Brown thing. But I guess not. They, just, they decided to keep it. So hey, good grief. Uh, great performances overall by Matt Mercer playing Joe Tyro, Richard Epcar playing the uh, old Joseph Joestar. Um, great performances from Doug Erholtz as uh, uh, Polnareff and Cal Bear as Kakyoin. And we have Mike, uh, Michael McConaughey playing the the new stand user. I forgot the name. The captain, the fake captain. He had like the, you know, the fish stand user and the water techniques and etc. He did a great job playing a character. Now, now going off the cast list, though, I, I don't know who's playing that chick. I forgot the, the chick's name. I don't know who's playing her, but I'll come back and do some research on that later and talk about it later. But whoever was playing her um, was doing a pretty good job. The voice sounded really familiar. But if anybody can, you know, jot that down for me, let me know in the comment section below. But the voice is pretty good. You know, the annoying chick that everybody thought was a boy, but ended up being a girl and, you know, all that goofy stuff. But the episode was great, though. You know, great comedy. Uh, Joe Tower being the beast. And we hear more of the Star Platinum's orders. And it sounds fantastic in English dub form. The order, 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 order. Sounds great. No issues whatsoever. And the English script, like I was saying, with the punched up dialogue, with the, you know, foul language and etc. 
it's really great. I have no problems with the English dub script. So that's it. That's my review for everybody. Uh, you know, all these animes, you know, Dragon Ball Super, Hunter Hunter, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Check out my Facebook fan page. Leave a like and leave a like for the video as well. And leave a like for the fan page. Uh, links are in the description. Stay tuned for more anime, manga, and video game related videos. English dub reviews, Toonami, Funimation, Simul dub, broadcast dub reviews, and more. You know why? Because I'm beat dub the anime master. Anime for the win. Peace. Dragon Ball Z, the anime One master. Piece. Here we go, the anime Death master. Knows, nigga. Dragon Ball Z, the anime master. Here we go.